Morning brothers and sisters. Well, I just thought I'd come on this morning. I am planning communion tonight on the channel. If you're wanting to partake in communion, it is the first day of Passover celebrations now. 8th till the 16th, very significant in what we're doing, but so peculiar, peculiarly <laughs> peaceful. And it was last night and it has been for a while. The birds, the wildlife are doing different things, peculiar thing. Gosh, that's the first time I've seen a sign of someone today, someone getting in their van. But it's just so quiet and unnatural, unnormal, let's put it that way. Supernatural, maybe? Supernatural? I don't know. I just thought I'd come on and share casually in my tea break this morning, or my break. Although I've been heavy reading in the Word today, you know, and contemplating, drawn to do so. This was what I've seen last night. I mean, I've got the picture of the moon, which is a very, very full moon last night. Um, but you couldn't see it because the camera was focused on the tree. So I couldn't see the fullness of the moon. But just look at the stillness in this. This is springtime in, in Britain. <laughs> this still... Doesn't happen very often. Just have a look at this. Just look how peaceful it is out here. Tonight. My word. And don't know whether you can see it because I can't focus on it. A big moon. Looks bigger in real life. But peaceful. Real peaceful. Some birds moving. Nothing in the sky yet. Yet. Peculiar, isn't it? And the same here today, sun shining, warm. Wildlife getting ready for what? Birds feeding at night time as well as in the morning. We feed the birds in the garden and they're all the time wanting food now all the time. You used to feed them in the morning, you wouldn't see them. Um, you'd see the, the, the flurry of sparrows and all sorts of varieties coming in and then you wouldn't see them till the next morning. They'd be up early feeding. Now they're all day long. Fill that feeder, they'll come. You know, they'll come tea time into evening. They'll come. As you've seen by the last video, there's still wildlife movement in the garden. And uh, it's just peculiar and I love it actually because I'm so feeling the Lord is going to come and take the bride. I am so, so switched on at the moment. Never been more switched on. My lamp is lit and brothers and sisters, I know your lamps are lit. But if your lamp isn't lit and you are a professing Christian, then it's time to light your lamp. To light your lamp like the ten virgins. Light your lamps. Pray that you're accounted worthy. Pray, 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 read, 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 like your life depends on it because your eternity does. This is the time to be switched on. This is the time when the bride will be taken. The bride will be taken. And I'm looking forward to going home. I'm looking forward to eternity. I'm looking forward to everything happening. I'm looking forward to all the promises that's been made. But I'm still praying to be accounted worthy. Pray to be accounted worthy. If you don't know Jesus, then that's what we're about. That's what I do these videos for, to get the word of God out, to advance the kingdom of my Father God. If you don't know him, then you can know him. And you can know him free of charge. Because he died on the cross 
to forgive everything you've ever done or might have done or likely to do. You need to simply confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and then change your living, change the way you think, repent. That's what that word means. Change, 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 because you've got to believe. And that's difficult when you cannot see something. You cannot feel something, you cannot touch something. But I can assure you, as you push into him, he'll come nearer to you. And eventually you'll know the Lord. And that's what you are trying to do. Build relationship, not religion. Don't need a pastor, a vicar, a priest, anything like that. God wants a relationship with you. He made you in his image. It's just up to you whether you want him or not. For there is over 3,000 known religions in the world. No two agree. Only one can be right or they're all wrong. And that one is God seeking man. The others are man seeking God. He sent his son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Eternal life in heaven, with him, in glory. Tonight, brothers and sisters, I do hope to put on communion on my channel, as I said earlier. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if it'll crash. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to come. But if it goes all right, we'll be there celebrating and remembering our Lord Jesus. But I'll leave you with that, brothers and sisters, and say until then, May God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.